everybody, it's Tom Gentile, and this is video five, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the smart search, another way to search for trades. And so what I want to do is I want to pop on over. We're looking at Apple today, all right? And um, it's a short-term trade for me, but it's broken out to new all-time highs. And, you know, just want to show you what we can do as far as a smart search on a stock that may be more short-term. So I'm going to pop over here to searchers. I'm going to go to multi-strategies. I'm going to go to smart search. And I want to type in Apple, symbol A-A-P-L. It's going to go ahead and change that. And we're looking at the trade here as of just recently. And so we're seeing it jump to new highs. Uh, if, you know, I'm looking at something that's very short term, I can go in and look at as simple as a call option. Now, I'm actually looking at in the money call options right now on Apple. And so I don't have to go too far in the money. If the, if the, the trade's at, at 111.07, you know, for instance, I'm looking at the November, here's an example of a 109 call for $2.88, all right? Now, this is from, uh, if you take a look at the graph itself, this is an option that expires in about a week and a half, all right? So it's about, a, I think it has like 10 days. Oh, actually, it says 16 days on it. Uh, so this is the November quarterlies, the one that ends at the end of the month. So you got an option here that's, that's an end-of-the-month option, ends in 16 days, and you can see here, that the total risk on this trade is $288. But let's say you've got a 120 price target on it. Again, all I want to do is come down to the bottom. I'm going to change my upper target to 120. All right. Reasonable price target during this time frame. And I think after Thanksgiving, we're you know, if if we have that Black Friday that everyone's expecting, it's going to be very optimistic for Apple. So uh, anytime between now and then, if we do hit 120, here's what we're looking at. We're looking at this option actually ha coming up to 120 would actually have a theoretical profit of $800 per position. So we're talking about roughly a $288 cost and risk that theoretically we're looking for it to turn into $800 profit. All right. So that's the trade. That's how we look at in using smart search. And we can actually go in and do some comparisons, too. If we want to do a little bit more, we can actually go back and we can analyze another call option. And maybe we're looking at something that, um, that has a little bit longer time to expiration. Perhaps we want to go all the way into Christmas all right, and, and look at something that, that takes us closer to December. And we can do that simply by coming down and looking at something else. All right, So if we like the 107 or the 109 strike, here's a 109 strike in December. And it costs a bit more, $3.25 versus two eighty-eight, dollars but you're getting a few extra weeks of time value along with that. All right, so this is the December week one option. This would take us out into the first week of December, and the same thing you're seeing here. Uh, this trade is $3.25 or $325, but again, where are we looking to be if the stock gets to $120? And again, I'm going to come down to the bottom. I'm going to change the stock limits to $120 on the upper side, which is what we call the right-hand side, the hard right edge of the stock. We're going to click on risk graph here, and we're going to reset this, take a look at where those profits end up at 120. And at 120, if you come down, we're looking at somewhere just shy of $800 uh, as well. So $800, a little bit less than $800 because we're putting a little bit more money into this position. But as you can see, here's two good examples of how to take a trade, uh, a, a trade idea that you're looking at. All right, and converting it into what you feel the best reward to risk ratio is with your own personality using Smart Search. Hope you enjoyed this. We got more videos coming, guys.